a team struggling to avoid relegation against a team trying to secure a place in next season's UEFA Champions League. It's Norwich City versus Middlesbrough in this Barclays English Premiership fixture at Carrow Road. Norwich were promoted at the end of last season as champions of what was the first division, now the championship in England. They've scrapped for points all season and remain optimistic about avoiding relegation. But Norwich, a second from bottom and in the drop zone, pushed into that place following Southampton's win over Liverpool earlier today. The Norwich manager, Nigel Worthington, has now conceded that his team, along with Crystal Palace, Southampton and West Bromwich Albion, are the four who are looking most vulnerable. Three will be relegated, one will avoid the drop come May. Teams are already in the tunnel. Gareth Southgate there on the right-hand side, skipper of Middlesbrough. Now aged 34, he's in his fourth season with the club from the northeast of England. And he signed a new three-year contract earlier this season. And the Norwich skipper is uh, Craig Fleming. In his eighth season here, he's seen so many highs and so many lows. Norwich beaten in the playoff finals by Birmingham City a couple of years ago, but they won promotion automatically at the end of last season. They're in the big time, but how long will they be able to keep their place in the Premiership? And Middlesbrough, to a degree, know what they've been through. A promotion, a relegation, a promotion again. But now they're firmly established in the top flight, and they're making inroads into Europe as well. Another capacity crowd at Carra Road. The new Home Secretary, Charles Clark, who's the Norwich South MP, has just opened an extension to the Gerald stand here. Norwich blessed with capacity crowds throughout this season. Huge anticipation and expectation at the start of the season. But they know that they face a fight now to keep their place in the Premiership. Middlesbrough are in the UEFA Cup, they're still in the FA Cup as well. They go to Manchester United next weekend. They're the team currently sixth in the table. Norwich now down in 19th place in the relegation zone. Norwich give a home debut to Dean Ashton, the top scorer in the championship with 17 goals and signed for a club record £3 million from Crew Alexander. Ashton made his first appearance in last Saturday's 3-0 defeat at Aston Villa and Norwich have now lost five of their last six Premiership games. It's an unchanged team, but Gary Holt is included among the substitutes two months after he was rushed to hospital with a lung filling with blood after he was hurt in the one all draw at Birmingham. Middlesbrough are short of defensive options. Hugo Ekiog is likely to be missing for six weeks after damaging knee ligaments in last Sunday's one all draw with Everton. And with Chris Riggett also out, Michael Reitziger moves to the middle with 18-year-old Tony McMahon recalled at right back. Ray Parler is available again after suspension and Silad Nemeth drops to the bench. There is Dean Ashton, a home debut for him. He admitted during the week that the step up from the Championship to the Premiership was a tough one for him. He was operating in the first half at Villa Park last Saturday as Norwich City's lone striker. And he also had the misfortune to deflect a header from Liam Ridgewell past his own goalkeeper, Robert Green. It gave Aston Villa the early initiative, a goal after just nine minutes. And Norwich were facing an uphill struggle after that. Tony McMahon then, who uh, comes in at right back here for Middlesbrough. He was skipper of the team that won the FA Youth Cup at the end of last season, just 18 years of age, and he made his Premiership debut in the one-all draw at Manchester United early in October. He will be in direct opposition here to Darren Huckabee, who was Norwich's top scorer last season with 14 goals in the Championship. Great pace, Huckabee, and he has a roving role alongside Ashton. He will be expected to press forward and to put McMahon under a bit of pressure. Ray Parler back from suspension here for Middlesbrough. He will play in the right side of midfield. And Bolo Zenden is just one caution away.
from a ban now. Four yellow cards for him. Our referee is Matt Messias, who has the distinction of having taken charge of 15 games this season, and he's yet to send anyone off. Two teams in need of a win, but for very different reasons. Norwich because they need to escape from the relegation zone. Middlesbrough because they want to ensure that they stay in the top six, either to claim a UEFA Cup place or, if they can progress further, a top four finish and a qualifying place for the Champions League. Yet Middlesbrough have won just one of their last five games, and that was against Norwich. 2-0 success just after Christmas. Edworthy then with the first free kick. Looking towards Gary Doherty. And it will be a Norwich City throw. There's more rock. Now drawing the angle is right for the cross. Doherty with the header. And maybe he feels he should have done better. It was a free header, Nigel Spackman. Well, Gary Doherty getting up there. Really should hit this on target and make Mark Schwartz make the save. Lovely ball in from Jury. Gets away from his marker there. Gareth Southgate it is. But really should get that on target. But a good opening start for Norwich City. Adam Drury was dropped for the fixture that Norwich won here against Bolton Wanderers. A 3-2 success. One of only two wins they've enjoyed in the Premiership. They waited until game number 14 for their first win. 2-1 home success against Southampton. Francis, unable to find Ashton. Zenden has been so effective this season for Middlesbrough. Robert Green with the clearance. There was some speculation that he might be a Middlesbrough target before Mark Schwartz has signed a new three-year contract this week. Miscue there by Southgate and Suddenly there was a moment of panic in that Middlesbrough defence. Huckabee was popped up on the right-hand side. Edward. There's more rock. Now draw it. Norwich playing with real zip early on. Brent. Stepping in there ahead of Dean Ashton. And there is Dean Ashton. 17 goals he scored in the Championship, two in the League Cup. He is claiming that he's got 20 this season, but the Football League have decided that one of his goals against Wolverhampton Wanderers was an own goal. Nigel Burlington, who says that Ashton is no quick fix for Norwich City. £3 million signing. A striker who has shown already that he can score goals. Well, he has in the championship, but he's got to start scoring them in the premiership if he can to give Norwich any chance of staying up. But he's a good signing, he will score goals, but uh, obviously he'll get less chances than he did in the championship in the premiership. But it's down to the other players at Norwich to create those chances for him. His job dispossessed by Francis Johnson. Or by Edward, giving Francis something to chase. There's no doubt that Norwich missed Damien Francis, who was out for six fixtures after fractured the cheekbone in a collision with Leon McKenzie in training at the end of November. He's a joint top scorer in the Premiership this season with five goals. Darren Huckabee has also got five. Six in total if you include the League Cup. Powell has managed to get in behind Drury, his job, now Hasselbank, Fleming it was who managed to make the block from Deriva then, a good play from Middlesbrough down that right hand side, lovely ball threaded through and 
Ray Parler was in behind Jury. Hasselbank made the run, but didn't come to him. Job led it back. In the end, the shot comes in. Great block from Fleming. And as Norwich push out, the shot comes back in, and Robert Green watches it go past his post. But it's been a good opening start from both sides. Ashton. No Johnson. Banks head on. Zend. And by Jock. Zend him again. And in the end, it's Fleming who gets a foot to the ball. And that will be a corner to Middlesbrough. Paul Fleming, who's Norwich City's longest serving player, now his eighth season with the club. He's the only survivor from Middlesbrough's last visit in what was the first division. In November 1997. Drew is in there alongside Southgate. Downing with the in swinger. Out by Doherty. And that wasn't too far away from Deriva. Well, he waited a long time to get his first goal in English football. He came in the FA Cup just a couple of weeks ago. It's so close there to getting a second. A great technique, might just take a little reflection off the defender there as well. Corner at one end and now a corner at the other. Maccabee's cross charged down. Fleming and Doherty making their way forward. Ashton keen to make his presence felt. Four punched that by Schwarzer. Here's Brennan. He's lost out to Deriva. Downing now. He's got job alongside him. Downing doesn't need him. Terrific save by Green. Fantastic acceleration by Stuart Downing. Zendik. His part has been a breathless opening. Zendik. Now Downing. Prepared to take on Jonsson. Francis to get a foot in. On by Ashton. Here's Huckabee. He's away from right to get. And the ball was across to cover. Well, it's end-to-end -end stuff, Tony, isn't it? But uh, Norwich have got to really keep their wits about them. They had a corner there and got hit on the break. and could have been 1-0 down. Hassel back. Terrific shot from Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank just managed to get a yard there on Phil Mulrine. Hasselbank using all his body strength to shake off the Irishman. And here is that earlier Middlesbrough attack. But it's rising his pass and Downing was too quick. Threadworthy, cutting inside, Robert Green stands up well. Good, good angles, stands up well, gets his body in the way and it's cleared in the end. But another warning for Norwich, both sides have started well, but you can't leave that back door open especially when you have them in your own corner and getting hit on the counter-attack. Should be an England call-up for Stuart Downing for the friendly international against the Dutch next month. And one assumes that Robert Green might feature in that squad too, Norwich City goalkeeper. Well, it's good to see the youngsters being given a chance by Sven, isn't it? Robert Green's been in that squad for a long time now, and he's had an excellent season here at Norwich, and Stuart Downing probably been... Here's Hasselbank! And Green got a touch to that. I'm not entirely sure that it was goal-bound, but Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, who struggled to get goals just lately, has gone six games without a goal, just wanted too much time. That was good play between Judd and between Hasselbank. Fakes to take it on his right foot, away from Fleming, on his left foot, but I don't think Robert Green gets a touch to this. I think that was a goal kick, but Millsborough uh, take the corner. Green on his toes again. Downing across to take the corner kick. Zend into the near post. In by Park. Out by Edward. Zenden. Miscue by Doherty. And out 
sent off uh, Johnson. It's actually a Norwich throw. The assistant on the near side decided that uh, that ball had gone out off Frank Kadru. I think he was wrong. He was wrong. Ashton. Here's Drew. More right. Francis. Ashton. Now Jonsson. Seems they've just did enough. It was a back pass from uh, Gareth Southgate. The crowd were claiming it as well, but I think uh, Mr Mathias just thought uh, it wasn't a pass back, it just came off Gareth Southgate and the goalkeeper could pick it up, no problem. Kudru. There's more right. And by Janssen. Be twisting away from Southgate. Oh, stepping in. Important interception that. Deriva. Right side. Going at the centre of the Middlesbrough defence because of the injuries to Rigot and Ekiho. Here's Park. And they've settled down now into this game, haven't they, Middlesbrough? They're very confident, they're passing the ball around. And Norwich has just got to be patient, the crowd are getting a little bit impatient with them, but they've just got to be patient, keep their football going, and hopefully create chances. Job was in an offside position, he scored two goals against Norwich, two in two minutes when Middlesbrough won at the Riverside just after Christmas. the injury list at the moment, but Middlesbrough have also suffered. No, Mark Viduka at the moment, he's got a hamstring problem and is likely to be out until early next month. He's given uh, Joseph Dezeri job his chance, he's got five goals in his last eight games. Marcel Bank looking to shoot. Nods in the back there by McMahon. Southgate. Down. Zender. This was played the wrong side of Stuart Downing there. But he's the outlet for them, Stuart Downing. He's staying very, very wide. You're giving Edworthy a bit of a problem. Edworthy covering round on his centre back, Fleming. And uh, Downing's very bright. He's staying wide and dropping off and being able to get it to his feet or running behind Edworthy if he needs to. Stuart Downing has had a fabulous season for Middlesbrough. Signed a new four-year contract earlier in the season. It was loaned out to Sunderland during the last campaign. Very strange that, isn't it? He went off to Sunderland, did extremely well. Um, wasn't really in the plans of Steve McLaren's Middlesbrough. But then uh, did so well at Sunderland, came back and got into the team. And been excellent so far this season, probably Middlesbrough's best player. Johnson now for Norwich. Frank Kidru. Edward. Moran. Drew. Here's Huckabee. Confronted by McMahon. Huckabee has got past him. And he was able to angle the pass back towards Jim Brennan, but Middles were there defending very deep, were able to deal with the danger. Is Ashton? Well, that's what they thought. A striker who's prepared to have a go from anywhere. Excellent technique as well, but Darren Huckabee's done it extremely well down that left-hand side so far. And when it's laid back, the cross comes in from Jury. Ashton away from Risinger, but can't direct it on target. Good ball in, crosses man, but can't trouble Schwarzer. 
But a bright start from both sides. The only thing we haven't got so far is any goals. Darren Huckabee has been carrying the burden of the Norwich City attack for too long. He's needed some help, and now he's got some from Dean Ashton. Parley. Jules Clarence was charged out, but that will be a Norwich goal kick. Yeah, with uh, Svensson being out injured, who's been the main centre forward, Huckabee's been playing on that left-hand side a lot. But now they've gone back to a more 4-4-2 with Dean Ashton up there. It does give Huckabee a chance to float around and join him with Ashton when he can, and it gives the likes of Damian Francis in the middle of the park to get up and support as well. Norwich with just 19 goals in the Premiership this season. And 15 of those 19 have been scored in the second half of games. Kadru. Himself available, but instead uh, Kadru finds his goalkeeper, Mark Schwarzer. Running with Jock. And by Ashton. That's it. His participation in this particular game. He damaged a toe against Everton last Sunday. Initially, it was thought that he'd broken it. Further examination revealed that it was just heavy bruising. He's in from the start. Even. There is a different position for him. Janssen up. Here's Huckabee. Swans has got that. And Francis has put it in. Oh, and tap in for Damien Francis. But it's just the lift that Norwich City wants at this stage. Excellent play from Norwich, though, down that left-hand side again. And when the ball comes in, it looks like Huckabee's going to score the goal, but Francis follows this in. And then was he onside? That's the main question here. Very tight, but it's, the goal's been given. Comes Huckabee, good first touch. Hard and low across Schwarzer, gets a hand to it. Francis knocks it in the back of the net. Middlesbrough are claiming offside. That's a very close shot. Close call, that one, but Norwich don't worry about that. They're 1-0 in front. It was a very close call. No wonder Damien Francis was looking across to the assistant on the near side. Francis's sixth goal in the Premiership this season. Poor clearance that by Edworthy. Johnson back to help out. Well, this is just the start that Norwich wanted. It's been a very open game. They need to get in front when you're the home team. They've done that. And hopefully they can keep the pedal down and keep their attacking football going, but make sure they stay very tight at the back and not give Middlesbrough any chances to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank job or even to Downing. There's Downing. Shot took a deflection, it'll be a corner, this to Middlesbrough. Well, this is a test for Norwich now, they've gone in front, they need to make sure they stay very solid at the back and give nothing away and let Middlesbrough quickly back into this game. South Bay four, joined by Kadru. In by Down. Lonson's had a clip. has got and the assistant's given handball he's got the better view on this Darren Huckabee away from Deriva but he uses his arms clearly there and the assistant was correct on this occasion McMahon his job Running didn't give him an inch Dereba. 
There by uh, Zender. Middlesbrough at the moment looking rather edgy. There was an edgy clearance by Robert Green. His pal was unable to find Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. There's a lucky escape from Norwich. Up by Southport. Johnson. On by Brent. Here's Drew. Ashton with Kadru. Kadru is claiming there that he was given a push in the back by Dean Ashton. All right. Huckabee. The decision is going to be way. Well, the referee thinks that Huckleby's using his arm to turn McMahon there, because McMahon got too tight to him. But uh, Huckleby doesn't agree. Little slide rule ball down the side. Huckleby holding him, but uh, I think it's six or one and a half a dozen or another there. But uh, it's been a good start by Norwich. I think Nigel Worthington will be extremely pleased the way they've approached this game. Good tempo. And now it's uh, down to Steve McLaren to get his lads into this game and try and hit back. Robinson said after the 3 0 defeat at Aston Villa last weekend that he felt that Norwich were a bit short of class, but couldn't fault his team for the commitment that they showed. Now, Ashton there was uh, held back by Kudru. It's a yellow card for Frank Kudru. Serves a yellow card as well. Ashton got the break on the ball, but Kudru there blocked him off. Dean Ashton went down. a clear free kick and a yellow card no more than that it was definitely a yellow card but another situation now for Norwich about 30 yards out to put more pressure on this makeshift Middlesbrough defence that's a good I just organising the line on the edge of the Middlesbrough penalty area Johnson's header flicked off the side of his head now for a goal kick yeah, Jonsson got up well, but uh, didn't know whether to head it, flick it on, or go for goal, and he got caught in two minds, and it flicked it on and out for a goal kick. But Nigel Worthington will be extremely pleased with the start that Norwich have made. Steve McLaren up in the stand, as he always does in the first half, to survey in the scene. He won't be quite so pleased, but uh, he's got a lot of injuries. He makes shift back four, but really his team with the, really should be pushing for the three points here to try and go up to fifth place above Liverpool, who lost earlier today. Sixth in the table, they're 18 points behind the leaders, Chelsea. But only eight points behind Everton, who are currently fourth. They're also into the knockout stages again of the UEFA Cup. They've made significant progress, but they're not making too much progress at Carrow. Given away to Jonsson there by Kadru. Headworthy well forward here for Norwich. Doherty. Just too much pace on the pass from Gary Doherty there for Mark Edworthy, who's encouraged to get well forward, the right back. Well, Mark Edworthy likes pushing forward, trying to get down that right hand side. Doherty couldn't find him on this occasion, but it's a good tactic on that right hand side because Downing likes to go forward, doesn't want to track back so well. So as a fullback, you think, well, I'll give you the problem, I'll run past you and see if my te teammates can find me. But on this occasion, it was too long. Edwards was saying in the week that he had no fears about taking on Stuart Downing. All right. And foul by Derida. That could be his onside. Quickly taken free kick. Ashton in the middle, joined now by Jonsson. It's in towards Jonsson. Kudru did well. Francis. Huckabee. 
prepared to take on McMahon. And again, he's got around him. It's with Huckabee. And he wants to get a clear. Here's a little pass by Phil Ryan, but Carlo was a bit too aggressive with his challenge there. Yeah, Ray Parler just back from suspension, gets another book in here from Mr. Mathias. Slid in, caught Jury, giving the free kick away. There was excellent play just before that from Darren Huckabee down that left hand side. Turning young McMahon, the full back inside and, and out, getting the cross in. And it came out, and now we've got a free kick. Another dangerous situation for Middlesbrough to defend against. Huckabee over the ball. Southgate. Down in a very tight corner. And he will dive again. Another card then for Ray Parler. Joining Frank Kudrin. Matt Messias' notebook. Well, at the moment, they just can't, Middlesbrough just can't get Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank or job into the game. The service up to the front man has been poor so far. And Jimmy's looking a bit frustrated there. He's not getting enough of the ball to create anything for himself. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank with eight goals in the Premiership this season. He's gone six games without a goal, and he managed seven of his goals in the first nine games of the season, including a hat-trick when Middlesbrough won at Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn reduced to ten men. There's ten minutes of the first half remaining when uh, two guy was sent off. Here's down. Kadru. Easy for Doherty. To Reva. Settled himself for the shot then, but didn't really get hold of it. Oh, De Reva's had a couple of long-range efforts now. Not tested Robert Green so far, but he's getting his sighters in. Kadru's ball in is poor. Headed out, he takes a good first touch, but slices across the ball as he's leaning back on it slightly and uh, away from the goals. Deriva, the Brazilian who started out with Sao Paulo, he's been around a bit since then, he's played in Portugal and Italy and he was previously at Celta Vigo in Spain. He scored against Notts County in the third round of the FA Cup a couple of weeks ago, it was his first goal for four years. Really as bad as me and you then, Tom. Yeah. But uh, at least he's got in that score sheet. He's having a, a run in the side now, which he's not really had. I found a position for him in the middle of the park. But uh, someone from Middlesbrough really needs to start taking the game by the scruff of the neck and creating something for them. Aston. Again, it was a first-time hit. Well, he's looked lively up there, hasn't he? But this breaks to him. It's really an instinctive strike as it comes half chance. Just breaks from there. Didn't know whether to side foot it on target or lash it with the laces, and he got caught in two lines. Very close to a handball there, but I think it's so difficult there for the player to get out of the way. I wouldn't have given that one. Sometimes tries to pick out McMahon. He was quickly closed down by Jim Brennan. Well, young Tony McMahon he needs a bit of support in front of him there from Ray Parler and De Riva. He's getting isolated there on that left-hand side with Jim Brennan and sometimes Huckabee coming across there. He needs a little bit of the help in front of him, the young man. Down, the support from Kadru. A test for Green. And his handling is impeccable. Hasselbank, it's Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, and again the finish is disappointing. As you said, Tony, he did everything right except the finish. 
Lovely ball in from Downing, good first touch away from Fleming, onto that right foot of his, tries to bend it in that far corner of Robert Green's net. It comes right across the ball and it's more like a back pass and Jimmy, when he's in a confident mood, would have stuck that in the back of the net, that's for sure. Norwich have lost five of their last six games in the Premiership. They drew one all at Portsmouth on New Year's Day. They also struggled, they've won one of their last five, that was their 2-0 success against Norwich City just after Christmas. They're through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. They face Manchester United next weekend, having beaten Notts County. Ooh, with a bit of work to do. Yeah, Damien Francis is lucky to get away with that. He didn't look properly. He put enough pace on the ball as well. But uh, Robert Green was alert. Got there before. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank and kicked it out of play. Right to go. Mark. Dereva. Hasselbank. No doubt. Kadru. Duckett adjusted enough. Damien Francis has given Norwich City the lead, but Middlesbrough will ask whether or not he was offside. Huckabee shot. But Ashton or Francis could have been in an offside position here. But when the shot's released, I think he's onside, and it's very difficult for the assistant who's on this side to look right across there and see if he's stayed onside or not. But it's only Middlesbrough complaining. Damien Francis and Norwich aren't, and they're in front, and it's all for Middlesbrough to do now. In this first half, how Norwich missed Francis's influence when he was ruled out by a fractured cheekbone. Six games out in the lead up to Christmas. Paul. They tried to find McMahon, but suddenly Middlesbrough are in danger of being caught on the counter attack. It's Ashton. And he very nearly went all the way on his own. Well, he said last weekend that he found the step up from the Championship to the Premiership, a big one. He said the game passed him by, but he was quick enough off the mark then. Very quick off the mark, twisting and turning, gets his shot in, Schwartz is in the right area, got his angles all right. But good positive play from Dean Ashton on his home debut. Seems to have got a bit of a second wind already. And he's enjoying this game so far. And just 21 years of age. Already capped by England at under 21 level. He scored on his debut against Holland last February. He has shown that he's ready to make the step up into the Premiership. Hasselbank. Now Park. Downing arriving with job in that penalty area. Edworthy didn't connect. Here's Downing. Zenden, Hasselbank, Downing, deflected and deflected in. It's an equalising goal and it is a goal for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. His first in seven games, a touch lucky, but Middlesbrough will take that. But it's good pressure from Middlesbrough, it's good build-up play from Downing. Goes in Hasselbank, out to Parler. Jury doesn't stop the cross from coming in, it beats everybody at the back post here. Ray Parler's cross, beats everyone, not cleared. Good play from Downing, holds it up. Zender makes the run, puts it back, Jimmy Floyd has to bank, gets his body in the way, good shield in the ball, lays it back from Downing, just flicks it as it comes to him. Very instinctive from Jimmy as he lays it off. The shot comes in from Stuart Downing, just sticks his toe in the way and it loops up over Robert Green, who has absolutely no chance there. Green is going for the shot into the other corner, Jimmy just... Gets his toe in the way and it lobs over Robert Green and in the back of the net. Nine goals now in the Premiership for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Steve McLaren still taking notes. He won't be entirely happy with the way in which his team have played during this first half. Further readjustment necessary at half-time, perhaps. 
That's a good time. Well, any time's a good time to get a goal, but when you've been up against it, Dean Ashton had a couple of chances as well. A lot of pressure from Norwich, and then on the breakaway, you get back into the game with about 10 minutes to half time, and your team talk changes. Ashton nearly forcing the, the error from uh, Michael Reitziger then. There's no Ryan. Schwartz is way off his line. Southgate again. Deriva. Now Parley. Down. Kadru. Norwich, they've just got to find their composure again now, just keep their passing game going. Not be overall that Middlesbrough got back into this game because they were playing so well. And they've got to make sure they stay tighter defensively and not give anything away. They've got to stop those crosses from coming in. The full-backs have got to get tighter to the wide players to make sure they don't get good crosses into the box. Good. Four times away from home on their travels this season. They won at West Bromwich Albion, they won at Charlton. The former success at Blackburn Rovers, where Jimmy Ford Hasselbank scored a hat trick, and also at Fulham back in August. They're all big games, aren't they? Home or away in this league. And for Middlesbrough, if they can get three points today and go up to fifth and get on the shirt tails of Everton, who have to play this afternoon as well. But uh, for Norwich, with Southampton winning, it puts an added pressure on them going into this game, knowing that they've dropped back into second from bottom and they really need to get three points out of this game as well. Norwich haven't got the distraction of the FA Cup. Their next Premiership game is at Everton. And then they face West Bromwich Albion here at Carrow Road. Yeah, and then I think they go away to Blackburn as well. So they've got some tough games coming up, but when you're at home, you need to try and get the three points, and that's what Norwich need to do this afternoon. They've been playing extremely well, but got caught on the counter-attack, and that's what happens at this level. Well, the last thing Norwich want now is another injury. A huge injury list, and there's a problem here for Matthias Johnson. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, who's got the equalising goal here for Middlesbrough. Damien Francis having put Norwich ahead. Yeah, but he does so well here, Jimmy. Shields the ball here away from Fleming, lays it off for Downing. And when it comes in, he just sticks out his toe. Great reaction. And that flips up off the top of his foot and spins over the top of Robert Green, who's gone for the Downing shot in the first place. And just what Jimmy needed and just what Middlesbrough needed. They do his confidence the world of good. Fantastic scoring record in the Premiership. He was top scorer in the Premiership during his time with Leeds United. He managed uh, more than 20 in consecutive seasons as well, just after that. Down. There's Park. More just ahead of him. Zend. Dorina. By Downing. Left by job in anticipation there of maybe a slip by Gary Doherty. Hasselbank. Hasselbank again. Jimmy Ford prepared to have a go from anyone. His job. Sure yeah, Craig Fleming's played extremely well at the back. He's made a couple of fantastic tackles, a couple of good blocks, and he needs to be on his toes because Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank now he's got that 
goal is going to really test out Fleming in the back there to Jimmy, who will shoot from anywhere now. He's got his confidence, got his first goal. So it's going to be a tough afternoon now for the likes of Fleming at the back for Norwich. They've got to keep their composure and keep their alertness. Uh, Norwich are back on the front foot. They've got a corner kick. Fleming is up there alongside Gary Doherty. Ashton with his run to the near post. Schwarzer couldn't collect. At least not the first attempt. Down. Here's Paul. Pass for your pass was ambitious and a shade too ambitious. But again, it's a cross in and Downing so quick to break out onto this left hand side. When Norwich players have pushed forward, he spins out. Schwarzer finds him with the with the throw out and it sets them away again on the counter-attack, but this time his a, a pass is over-hit for Ray Parler. Ray Parler's never been that quick. There's an argument going on on the halfway line. It was just caught there by Darren Huckabee, who's right in front of the Middlesbrough dugout. It's ended with a smile between uh, Steve McLaren and Steve Foley, the Norwich City coach. Dereva. Zend. This was a bit too heavy for Dereva. That was another hefty challenge by Huckabee. No run. Brent. Huckabee loses out to Dereva. Well, that's what Dereva's got to do more of. He's got to cover in front of his young fullback, McMahon, because he's been put under a lot of pressure by Darren Huckabee because Huckabee keeps pulling out there on him and McMahon doesn't know whether to go tight with Huckabee or wait for Jim Brennan to push on here so he needs a little bit of help does young Tony McMahon on that side and it's up to Ray Parler the senior player and Dereva to get in there and help him because I think Norwich really have uh, begun to isolate McMahon on that left hand side of theirs Tony McMahon hasn't looked out of place in the Premiership he Came in for Michael Wright to get just after the start of the season when the Dutch international had a shoulder problem which needed surgery. Skipper of the Middlesbrough team between the FA Youth Cup at the end of last season. Zend. He's down. Now Paul. Dereva. Dereva! Green had it covered. Well, Dereva's had three or four shots from that range now. And sooner or later, he's going to hit the target. Good build up play from Norwich again. Opens up for Dereva. Back from job here. And Robert Green just about had that covered. Like a Trying to play a give and go with Jonsson. Zend. Green sliding in. So it's a long time for his chance at Norwich this season. The Canadian international who's in his second season with Norwich, previously with Nottingham Forest. Francis, another was in his second season with Norwich. Edworthy looks toward Ashton. Huckabee! Some hit. Good play from Dean Ashton, though. Good awareness from Huckabee as well. As Ed Worthy plays that into Ashton, he lays it off of his chest. Good awareness. Huckabee straight onto it, hits it on the half volley, but he's leaning back a little bit and slices away. Mark Schwartz are just happy to watch it go out for a goal kick. There's no doubt that Norwich have missed the big target man like Dean Ashton. Play a bit. Draw. It was Brennan who was Ashton's original target.
Final minute of the first half. Drury with the throw. Here's Huckabee. Drury again. Job with Mulrine. Down. Hasselbeck. Is two, minutes remaining. Two, two extra minutes and at the end of the first half. Here's Hasselbank. Managed to get away from Doherty. And Downing has managed to keep the ball in play. A good build up play again from Middlesbrough. And Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank got a great cross in, but nobody made the attempt to get into the six yard box and it came right across. But Downing has made, managed to keep it in and force the corner. It'll be Stuart Downing to take this corner kick. Southgate has made a late move forward. It's Southgate's header. Kadru. Now Dereva. to cut inside. To Reaver again. Kadru. Now Zend. Middlesbrough prepared to be patient. Zend and his fan part. His job. Now Hasselbank. He's managed to get away from Brennan. And job! Green made the save, but it was an acrobatic attempt by Joseph Dezeri Job. Yeah, but good play from Hasselbank in the first place. Job with the overhead, and that's a good save from Robert Green. It bounces in front of him, he keeps his eye on it all the way. Bounces in front of him, but he doesn't push it out, he gathers it. And it's important now for Norwich to get into half-time level. Here come Middlesbrough with Zender. It's been a lively first half at Carrow Road. Norwich taking the early initiative, a goal from Damien Francis. Middlesbrough wondered whether he was offside as he got in on the end of a Darren Huckabee shot, which was turned away by Mark Schwarzer. Norwich did their best to assert themselves after that, but they were pegged back by Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. His deflected goal, his first in seven games, means at Carrow Road at half-time, it's Norwich City 1, Middlesbrough 1. Welcome back to Carrow Road for this Barclays English Premier League fixture. It's Norwich City 1, Middlesbrough 1 at half-time. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank there with the equaliser. A clever deflection following a shot by Stuart Downing after Damien Francis had given Norwich the lead. Francis scoring the sixth time in the Premiership during this first campaign back in the top flight for last season's First Division champions. Middlesbrough poised to make a substitution here at the start of the second half. Dereva is going off to be replaced here by James Morrison, the 18-year-old midfielder. Morrison has scored a couple of goals in Europe this season. He scored in the one-all draw with Banak Ostrava and also scored in a 3-0 win over Partizan Belgrade.
So a substitution by Middlesbrough at the start of the second half. James Morrison having come on now in place of Deriva. It's the second time that Morrison has featured at Carrow Road this season. He was here for the England under-19s when they played the Czech Republic back in the autumn. The game had finished 1-1. It's 1-1 here at half-time. Andrew Spackman alongside me. A change by Middlesbrough. How significant will that be? Well, what they do is Ray Parler, who started on the right-hand side, will go into the middle alongside Zenden. And Morrison will come onto this right-hand side with Deriva having gone off. It's Morrison on the ball. Help arriving from McMahon. There's Mulrath. Back a bit. Closely watched by Michael Reitziger, who's operating in the centre of the Middlesbrough defence here. Huckabee shows his frustration. The rising gets very tight to Darren Huckabee. He's pulling his shirt there, you can see. And then Huckabee comes across and his arm goes across Risinger's face and Matt Messias decides that's a free kick. Darren Huckabee has got five goals in the Premiership for Norwich this season. He's gone seven without a goal. On target in the 3-2 home win over Bolton Wanderers, one of only two wins that Norwich have enjoyed this season. Job who scored two goals early in the second half at the Riverside just after Christmas when Middlesbrough beat Norwich 2-0. The reverse fixture coming just three weeks after the first meeting of these two teams in the Premiership this season. got a particularly good record against Middlesbrough. They've gone seven games now against them without a win. Indeed, their last success was at Ayrson Park, Middlesbrough's old ground. Hasselbeck. Morrison. Now Parler, who, as Nigel has mentioned, has moved into the central midfield. Could zoom well forward. Downing. Drury and Huckabee wasn't anticipating that the ball was aimed in his direction. Kadru. And now Southgate. And Southgate says he's enjoying his football more than ever. Since he made the move to the northeast to join Middlesbrough, signed a new three-year contract earlier this season. He's had a little bit of a hard time recently as well with Sir Gareth Southgate by his own high standards, but he's had lots of partners at the back with that back four with him. But uh, he's played very well this afternoon. Zenden. Zenden shot, and it was deflected. It was a decent hit, and it was dipping awkwardly, and had beaten Robert Green. Yeah, good play from Zenden, comes back to him. But one thing in his mind, to get away from the midfield, player, hits Francis and flips up over Robert Green's crossbar. The Middlesbrough has started this second half very brightly, with a real purpose. Well, Zenden was on target against Everton last weekend, a game that Middlesbrough drew 1-1. And now they're in front. It's 2-1 and it's Frank Cadru. Well, it's a fine ball in from Stuart Downing with his left foot. Fantastic quality. And Frank Cadru makes the run for the back post right across the defender to that near post. And Robert Green's got absolutely no chance. Makes the run there across the defender. Markings very poor from Norwich's point of view as it goes in there. Cadru gets done. Head up in front of Johnson. They find themselves 2 1 down right at the start of this second half. Well, Frank Cadru, who scored one goal previously in the Premiership, it was the game that Middlesbrough lost 5 3 at Arsenal. He says that he's waiting for an international call. He feels that there's a position for him in the French squad. It's and then the decoy to the near post, and it was Cadru who was coming in behind. And it's Middlesbrough here who've come from behind to now lead 2-1. Oh, 
straight into uh, Jim Brennan then. Yeah, it's an accidental clash there. Jim Brennan's come off uh, worse and Matt Messias straight away called for the trainer to come on. It's an accident, accident that was from Ray Parler. But Parler suddenly found himself with nowhere to go then. He just ran straight into Jim Brennan. Brennan, who's needed to be patient this season. There wasn't really a role for him at the start of the campaign with Adam Drury at left back. Brennan who can play either on the left side of midfield or at left back has now found a role for himself. I think what's happened there, Tony, is they've had so many injuries in the middle of the park. And then Darren Huckabee was playing on that left side of midfield. He's had to go up front. And uh, Jim Brennan's come into that left side of midfield because he couldn't get in it left back. But... Uh, he gives him a nice balance down this left-hand side with his left foot and Jury with his left foot as well. But they need to find some inspiration from somewhere and get back into this game now that Middlesbrough have got in front. And it seems nothing is going Darren Huckabee's way. Now he's holding the shirt, you can clearly see that of McMahon there. Matt Messias is about ten yards away, sees the tug in the shirt and gives the free kick. the bank with Flint. Parler with Morai. Out by Doherty. Now the decision has gone down Huckabee's way. McMahon who was uh, doing the pushing then and who has thrown the ball away. There will be a yellow card. Yeah, silly from Tony McMahon there. He's given the free kick away. And then he throws the ball away and Matt Messiah's has to call him over, give him a yellow card, and it's very unnecessary for him, and now it's going to put him under pressure for the rest of this half. McMahon just 18 years of age, and this is James Morrison who's come on here as a second-half substitute for Middlesbrough. Drury with the free kick. Has done enough to win the throw in off Jonsson. I think he looks much happier in the middle of the park in the centre there, Ray Parlo, these days rather than being wide out on the right hand side. He likes to be in the thick of the action in the middle of the park and he works very hard for the team there. Protects the back four at times but can get forward and have shots at goal as well. Ray Parlo back from suspension here. He missed the home game against, middle, uh, against uh, Everton rather last weekend. with his foot up, Drury has gone down hurt. Well, sometimes defenders get away with this. I think he's gone down to head the ball and Morrison's towed it on. Just gets to the ball there. The follow-through just catches uh, Adam Jury and gets a flash on his head. But no intent uh, went there and uh, Jury should be okay. Drury back on his feet and eager to get back into the game. Norwich need to get back into the game too. Southgate looking for Jock. Jock has looked very strong in the air at the back for Norwich. There, that uh, Fleming had to be absolutely right when he uh, attempted to get the ball. Hasselbank alongside Jock. Southgate to the near post. Southgate's header on! And Middlesbrough have got another one. 
It's Frank Kudrow yet again. Fantastic movement this is from Middlesbrough. Southgate and Kudrow, they come in together. Southgate goes to the near post, Kudrow to the back post. He flicks it on from Southgate. Kudrow just strolls onto it and knocks it in with his right foot. Good movement, Southgate to the near, flicked on. Kudrow ran the back, got to the run on the defender. And a simple side foot tap in. Away from Jonsson there. The jury on the post can't react in time. Lovely flick on. Kudrow gets his second of the afternoon. Middlesbrough is third. And this is a real hard second half. It's going to be for Norwich to get back into this game and get anything out from it now. There's a very good finish as well by Frank Kudrow pulling the header on by Gareth Southgate. It's a well worked up. Two now that Middlesbrough have scored from corner kicks. It looks very much as though Norwich City are heading for their sixth defeat in their last seven Premiership games. Just one point, a one-all draw against Portsmouth. Zender. He's down. Now Kudrou, left back looking for a hat trick. Out by Flem. Ashton, haven't seen a great deal of him in this second half. Well, we haven't seen a great deal of Norwich in an attacking sense anyway, Tony, in the second half. Middlesbrough came right out of the blocks in the second half. They really took the game to Norwich, and they've got two quick goals, and it's a massive climb now for Norwich to get anything out of this game. I think Nigel Worthington will make a couple of changes in a minute, try and gee the lads up, but it's going to be a big ask for them to get anything out of this now. Kudrow trying to get Downing it. Ed Worthy just did enough. Downing again. It's a super cross in. Drury decided to leave it, but marvellous play by Stuart Downing. Fantastic play, showing good pace in the first instance to get behind Ed Worthy. But then good trickery, getting it back onto that left foot and just with the outside of his foot, sending a lovely ball into the back post, but nobody from Middlesbrough had caught up with him and went out for a goal kick. But Middlesbrough really have got the bit between the teeth at the moment and there seems to be more goals in this for them. Here's Morrison. And Kudrou. Zender. Parler. McMahon. He's ending to search out down. Kudrou. Hasselbank. Job. Hasselbank. Scuff the shot somewhat. It was a bit of a scuff shot, but it could build up play again. Good movement off the ball. From Middlesbrough. He wants to go back to his goalkeeper. Also arcing the ball across towards Morrison. Norwich set to make a double substitution here now. McKenzie and McVeigh are the two who are coming on here. Brennan is going off. Number 14, Leon so another striker comes on, Leon McKenzie. Nine, Thomas Johnson, Johnson also going off to be replaced by Paul McVeigh. Just three Premiership starts this season for Paul McVeigh. Nigel Worthington has said recently that McVeigh hasn't been working hard enough, but he did well enough for the reserves on Wednesday evening against Chelsea. Now he's been given another chance. Now the change there is that Huckabee have come out onto this left-hand side where he's played for a lot of the season. McKenzie will go up front with Ashton, and McVeigh will go on that right-hand side. Wide on the right and give them a basic 4-4-2, but really they need some goals from somewhere. And it's down to Huckabee and McVeigh really to supply the front two. And get Francis in from midfield, linking with the 
strikers to try and get goals as well, but at the moment, Middlesbrough are well, in, well on top in this game. And Middlesbrough looking for a fifth away win of the season. Middlesbrough won just one of their last five. And it was against Norwich. The best spell of the season back in the autumn when they had a nine-game and beaten run. Playing in the Premiership, the League Cup, and also in Europe then. As a win that was ended when they lost to Liverpool in the Carling Cup. Hasselback. Kadru. Trying to get Downing away. And his fourth season with Middlesbrough, Frank Kadru. Previously with a loss. Hasn't got one of the best disciplinary records in the Premiership. He's been sent off six times in his Middlesbrough career, twice this season. One of those in Europe. And the score of two second-half goals here. Two quick second-half goals. Huckabee. Huckabee loses out to Parley. Zenden has been most impressive this season for Middlesbrough. Here's Hasselbank. Duckerty eventually gets a foot to the ball. Well, he eventually did and cleared it, but there's a tugging of the shirt there as it went over the top. Duckerty pulling Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank's shirt there. The referee didn't see it. He was blindsided to that. And Jimmy wasn't too happy that he couldn't get away from Doherty and get another shot in on goal. Well, Doherty will join Norwich just after the start of the season from Tottenham Hotspur. Initially he was playing up front for Norwich and then they couldn't find a place for him. Simon Charlton operating in the centre of defence alongside Craig Fleming. And Nigel Worthington decided to give Adam Drury a rest. Charlton switched to left back and Charlton is now on the injury list. Well, he's had a lot of injuries to contend with, hasn't he, Nigel Worthington, in his small squad. And when you lose senior players like Francis and, and like Charlton you know, at these times, and Svensson as well, it's very difficult to keep a settled side, and their best performance was against Bolton, and the likes of Charlton and Svensson played in that game. And unfortunately, if you haven't got the backup players, it's very difficult for you. There's a whole catalogue of injuries at the moment. David Bentley has damaged knee ligaments on loan from Arsenal, is likely to be out for the rest of the season. Thomas Helberg, another on the injury list, but Gary Holt is on his way back, and Norwich want to bring him on as a substitute, but first they will take this free kick, taken by Mulray. Ashton up with McKenzie, in fact, they seem to get in each other's way then. So it's the Scottish international Gary Holt who will come on here for Norwich. Holt, who hasn't featured since the end of November, he suffered a severe chest injury. And it's Holt, who is now back on in place of Phil Mulright. Yeah, he's a big player for him, Gary Holt, came here from Kilmarnock up in Scotland, really like, works hard in the middle of the park, likes to get forward as well, and they've missed him. And hopefully he can inspire them coming off the bench this afternoon. McVeigh. Now Ashton. It was worth the try. And Schwarzer was so nearly surprised by that. Yeah, it's a fine effort from Dean Ashton. Running across his body on his weaker left foot, but he gets a good shot on target and makes Schwarzer make the save down to his left-hand side. Very, very difficult skill, letting the ball run across your body and hitting it on your weaker left foot, but he kept it down well and tested the goalkeeper. impression in the Premiership, of course, his former crew teammate Rob Hulse made the switch to West Bromwich Albion, and indeed uh, Hulse had a better scoring record at crew than Dean Ashton, but it looks very much as though uh, Hulse will be on his way from West Brom soon. Talk of a move to Stoke City. Yes, Brian Robson trying to freshen up his squad, he needs to get players out before he can really bring them in, and Rob Hulse, who's been on the fringes of things really, maybe he'll move on, but uh, for Norwich and Dean Ashton, they need a goal from somewhere, and if he can get the 
supply into him, then Dean Ashton will certainly score goals at this level. And here is Ashton. Huckabee. In towards McKenzie. Better movement in attack there from Norwich. Yeah, better movement, and Darren Huckabee coming in on his right foot really should have laid it wide over to the far side of McVeigh rather than trying to find McKenzie. But uh, Norwich still pushing Middlesbrough back at the moment. McVeigh. Morrison now. Morrison for the moment held up by Droy. Hasselbank. McKenzie has won the ball back off right ago. He's also guilty of a foul then. We well, can't fault the effort of Norwich. Many they've given 100% every game this season as they did last season you just feel that uh, Middlesbrough had that little bit of quality and that little bit of pace in the team and the goals in Hasselbank and Job and this afternoon from Quadru as well so it's going to be a hard ask for Norwich to get back into this and it's going to be a very difficult season for the rest of the season for them Francis now Fleming Quadru He's coming back from an offside position, so Fleming has had to charge forward on his own. And he's just berated the assistant on the far side because he felt that he was being obstructed there by Frank Kudrou. Well, that has said the effort. Craig Fleming's had a great afternoon, made a couple of quality interceptions, a couple of good blocks, and on this occasion the centre-half finds himself right in the final third, right near the corner flag, but gives a free kick away, but just shows the endeavour and the belief, but uh, unfortunately they find themselves 3-1 down at the moment. Craig Fleming actually made his premiership debut back in 1992 with Oldham Athletic. Old times change. And by McKenzie. Here's Ashton. Now Huckabee. Three to aim at inside that penalty area. And Ashton got there ahead of McKenzie, who might have felt he was better placed for the header. A good build-up play from Norwich, though, from one end to the other. Lovely lay-off, and Ashton lays it wide for Huckabee. Huckabee comes in on his right foot, tries to bend it in towards the back post, and Ashton gets across Gareth Southgate, but can't direct it on target. Good ball in. Ashton gets there, but can't get it on target. And really, at the moment, it's just half chances that Norwich are creating. They're not creating clear-cut chances to test... Mark Schwarzer, and it looks like Dean Ashton's also got an injury. And look at the goal attempts, it's been dominated by Middlesbrough. 18 goal attempts compared to 8 for Norwich City. Eighteen shots for Middlesbrough and 11 of them on target. Well, that's the thing, Tony, you've got to test the goalkeeper, it's no good having plenty of effort, it's those ones on target which count, and that's what uh, Nigel Worthington really needs from his players, is to start testing Mark Schwarzer, and if a half chance comes along, you really have got to get it on target, but uh, they're just not creating enough in that final third at the moment, and Middlesbrough really have dominated this game in the second half. Just beyond the halfway point then in the second half. Two second half goals here for Frank Kudrou. Middlesbrough having been behind, now 3-1 ahead. Holt is making his return to first-team action. Forward by Kadru. Francis. Drury. to go with McKenzie. And then Norwich throw. Norwich supporters approve of McKenzie's endeavour. Drawing. Morrison back to cover. Huckabee. 
Run back by Parler. Hasselbank strong. Morrison. Hasselbank. Parler looks for Kudru. Zenden ahead of it. Here's Jock. Now they've found Bolo Zenden. He's away from McVeigh. Hasselbank. Will be a corner. Yeah, but wonderful build-up play again from Middlesbrough there. Down that left-hand side. The quality of Zenden there. Lovely floated cross in. Dewey Field Hasselbank gets a header. Deflected for a corner. And they really are up against it at the moment. Frank Kajur, of course, looking for a hat-trick. Holt guarding the near post. Middlesbrough have another corner. Yeah, Gary Holt has come on his sub, but defending that near post. Got a head on it, gone out for another corner, but a lot of pressure now for Norwich. Again, they, they concede another, this game is dead and buried. No way back for them. Kajur waits. Zenden on the goal, just ahead of Green. Out by Fleming. And the penalty was too aggressive with the challenge. Yeah, it's a dangerous situation this now. Stuart down in good play. Paints to come inside, goes on the outside, just blocked off by McKenzie there. It's a body check. The referee, referee Mr. Messias, correct here and going to be tested again from this free kick from Downing. Green has abandoned the idea of a defensive wall. In by Downing. Green just did enough. Just got his knuckles to that. <laughs> Green at full stretch then. Back. Now Francis. Well, there's not a lot of conviction in that shot from Francis there. He has scored already this afternoon, but uh, McVeigh doing well. Back to Francis, takes a touch out of his feet, but he's leaning back on it. And a little bit of the confidence is going out of Norwich at the moment, finding themselves 3-1 down, and Middlesbrough are really dictating play, and with the experience of Southgate and Parler, Zenden in there, Hasselbank, Risinger as well. Very experienced side now, Middlesbrough, and Norwich aren't experienced at this level. So Joseph Zeri job has gone off to be replaced by Danny Graham here. 19-year-old striker who has been on target already this season for Middlesbrough. He scored for them in the League Cup against Coventry. Made his Borough debut in the 1-0 draw with Manchester United back in October. Yeah, and he did very well when he came on, and uh, it's another run out for him. And with all the injuries that the strikers have got, it uh, was very, gives young Danny Graham another chance to gain experience, especially away from home in the Premiership. Francis. McVeigh. Here's Huckabee. Now Holt. returning after just 45 minutes of football, having played for the reserves on Wednesday against Chelsea. McKenzie, Ashton waiting. And that was tipped away by Schwarzer. I'm sure the goalkeeper wasn't anticipating that. Well, he wasn't anticipating it because McKenzie's looking up to cross it into Ashton and it's come off the outside of his foot. And Tester Schwartz, and that could have gone in the top corner. Swept into the near post where Ashton was waiting. No doubt that Dean Ashton wants to get on the end of everything. Well, he's the main man, in his, isn't he? He's the main striker and uh, he's put himself about as Dino. But it's uh, not worked for him so far this afternoon. He's had a good match. In the last ten minutes or so, he's looked a little bit tired, but that's to be expected. Stepping up from the Championship football up to Premiership football, it's very, very hard to adapt early on and obviously they need some goals from him if they're to survive in the Premiership this season. Ashton's header on. Francis. Now McKenzie. 
he has made an even bigger jump up. He was playing in what was the second division last season with Peterborough United. And to move to Norwich. They're successful in their championship winning team, or their then first division winning team. Well, I think that just shows you uh, you can do if you're a quality player in a lower division. You do get the chance at clubs like Norwich, but uh, unfortunately it shows you the gap between the likes of Norwich and Middlesbrough with you know, the likes of Hasselbank and Viduka coming in in the summer. And, uh, you know, the likes of McKenzie and Spenson and Dean Ashton now and Huckabee. But, uh, but Norwich has not quite got that quality of what uh, Middlesbrough have in the attacking third. Steve Gibson, the Middlesbrough chairman, of course, has been prepared to invest in his team, but uh, similarly, he's also invested in his academy. There is uh, Steve Gibson in the middle there. Yes, and it shows you the quality players coming through on. Steve Gibson's right-hand side is Bill Bezik, the assistant manager, who uh, is uh, Steve McLaren's confidant. He was at Derby with him and at Manchester United for a while as well, and uh, Bill, the psychologist, really, and maybe he needs to do a little bit of work with Norwich for the rest of the season, try and help them with their psychological imbalances at times in this Premiership. You need all the help you can get and the belief you, you can get to go with all that hard work that they've got. There's Paul. There's Zend. And ball there by Fleming. I don't think Craig was too happy about that. I think he's got a case as well to come off his chest, but things not going Norwich's way at the moment. They're all working extremely hard, as we've already said, and Craig Fenning's had an excellent game defensively, but they find themselves 3-1 down, and from this sort of distance, you fancy Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank to test Robert Green. He's almost pawing the ground. He's itching to have a go from here. Downing is also having a look, but uh, seniority will probably take over. It's Hasselbank. Brilliantly done. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank with a yet another outstanding free kick. He wanted to take it, and he was determined to make absolutely sure. Well, this is a quality free kick from a quality player. And that's right in the corner. Robert Green's going across there. Six inches towards the goalkeeper and he would have saved it, but that's right in the corner from Jimmy. Plenty of confidence now after that goal he scored and that really does take the three points from Middlesbrough. And Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank's back on the scoring trail for them as well. Two for Frank Kidrew, two now for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. What a brilliant free kick. Trademark free kick. And Norwich heading back immediately with Ashton having a go. Yeah, good effort from Dean Ashton, good reaction, good first touch as it comes out, bad kick from Schwarzer, good first touch from Dean Ashton, onto it like a light, good shot, but uh, straight at Schwarzer. And Hasselbank will really be hungry now to get his hat-trick. Another ten minutes or so to go. And he wouldn't bet against him getting it. Norwich lost 4-0 at Charlton Athletic back in November. They also lost 4-0 at Chelsea in December. They've been beaten at Carrow Road 4-1 by Arsenal as well. And it's been all Middlesbrough in this second half. Yeah, but they won't give up on it, Norwich. There's a lot of pride here. They work hard. But really, they're running out of games and running out of points now to survive. Huckabee, in towards Ashton, and Dean Ashton has opened his Norwich City account. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. They paid three million pounds for Dean Ashton, and he started to repay that transfer fee already. For one horrible moment, I thought he was going to take the ball wide. Huckabee's ball in, Ashton, good straight, good touch. Schwarzer should have done better, but he reacts well. Good touch away from the goalkeeper. You get it in that corner. Fantastic for Dean Ashton and for Norwich to score on your home debut. But it's the three points they really need, and it doesn't look like they're going to get anything out of this. But Mark Schwarzer is it fault for me for that goal. 
Tremendous composure there by Dean Ashton as well. Managed to get his foot wrapped around the ball and to put it into the bottom corner when perhaps he uh, might have just as easily put it wide. Dino, Dino is the cry. The fans have got a new favourite. Well, he has worked so hard, hasn't he? He's chasing another lost course there. He's got the goal, he's had a few headers at goal as well, a shot over the top. He's had a good afternoon and he was running out of steam, but he seems to have got another win now and he's got that goal. And he'd be hungry to find another one, but uh, I don't think it'd be enough for Norwich this afternoon. Ten minutes remaining now. Zender. Castle back. He's one half trick already this season. And towards Graham. Doherty defending very deep. Fence is just putting the ball over his shoulder under pressure there from Zenden. McVeigh. And McKenzie was pushed. And now each other free kick. It's one that McVeigh wants to take quickly. Hickerby is the outlet down the left-hand side. Drury offering support. And Holt has been clattered there by Morrison. Holt twisting away from Palmer. Mays crosses charged down by Kadru. He was looking for a free kick. Norwich have to settle for the throw in. Edward. Now Drury. Ashton's header on. Out by Southgate, and the flag had been raised on the far side for an offside then. Norwich prepared to push and push, but of course there's always a danger that they'll leave gaps at the back, which Middlesbrough will hope to exploit with. Zenden powering through from midfield and the pace of Morrison on the right and Downing on the left. Well, that's the problem that Norwich have got. They've got to push forward in the final eight minutes or so, but uh, they can easily concede more at the other end. there by Hasselbank. Edward. There's Fleming. And he's looking for Francis. Instead he found Parler. Hasselbank's back here. Zender. Graham and Morrison, the two ahead of him alongside Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Kadrup. Down. Now Morrison. It's too high for Hasselbeck. Graham prepared to chase. McMore. He's just knocked off his feet there by Darren Huckabee. Yeah, but Huckabee's still working extremely hard. McMahon got the better of him in, on this occasion and got the free kick and this is another good situation for Middlesbrough to test Robert Green. Morrison. Here's Paul. Now Zender. Kudru. He's trying to pick out Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Green in turn tries to pick out McKenzie. Southgate stepping in. Morrison <laughs> straight offside. Middlesbrough 
Panthers were the FA Youth Cup winners last season. They're already through to the fifth round of this season's competition. They defeated Sunderland earlier this week. I mentioned earlier the uh, faith that Middlesbrough put in their academy. And Graham is one of those who's graduated from the academy. Oh yeah, there's been a few coming, a few coming through for Steve McLaren. Obviously Danny Graham. I think Steve will be extremely pleased. He's brought some experienced players in. And he's also got some good youth coming through. Elisa McMahon, Morrison, Graham, Stuart Carnaby, who's out injured at the moment as well. And this band down that left-hand side, Stuart Downing, who's been the fine of the season. So all things looking rosy for Middlesbrough at the moment. And they go up above Liverpool this afternoon. Here's McKenzie. Goes across to cover. Short uh, demanding concentration from his Middlesbrough teammates. But that's what they need, they're concentrating this final five minutes, Tony. They don't want to give anything else away. In by McVeigh. Out by Zend. Here's Drury. Edward. Francis got in each other's way. I think McVeigh's got to give him a shout there. He's clean through. He can see the picture. Francis has got his back to the play, trying to bring it down. If they've got a goal scoring opportunity there, they would have made it 4 3. We would have had a terrific final five minutes. McVeigh's cross. Short to out quickly to ensure that the ball doesn't go out for a Norwich corner kick. Southgate. Have to be shielding the ball away from McMore. This time Norwich have the free kick. There's no doubt that Darren Huckabee will benefit from Dean Ashton's presence in this Norwich City team now. Huckabee with the free kick. Far too close to Schwartz and a flag had already been raised on the far side. Liam McKenzie just one goal in the Premiership this season. It was in the 3 2 defeat here by Everton. He did himself to the Norwich City supporters last season after he joined them from Peterborough United when he scored both goals in the East Anglian derby against Ipswich in December of 2003. Manchester United in the FA Cup. A return to Old Trafford for the Middlesbrough manager. Holt. Edward. Holt again. Easing his way back after that serious lung injury. by Huckabee, McKenzie! Terrific header, and it might be the last minute, but Norwich might still have enough time. So what a goal this is, Darren Huckabee running it for us, a little throated ball in, McKenzie gets the header on it, but I think it's Gareth Southgate, leaves it for his goalkeeper, Huckabee coming in on that right foot, floats it in, McKenzie pulling away, Behind Southgate, he thinks Schwartz is coming for it, it doesn't get there, but McKenzie does. And a little faintest of touches on that pass, Schwartz. What a good couple of minutes we're going to have now. Don't write Norwich off. Gary Doherty has gone up front here for Norwich. Three extra minutes where to have. 
Middlesbrough 4-1 up and seemingly cruising. Now it's 4-3 and anything might happen. The 90 minutes are up. We're into stoppage time. Three extra minutes. Here's Huckabee. Brought down by Reitzinger. Free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. Well, just now I was right in Norwich off. But Huckabee gets him another free kick. Comes inside, Reisinger. Falls over him. He gets the free kick. And it's a very dangerous situation now. You just have to take you out off to... Nigel Worthington's Norwich, they're not giving up, they've still got that belief, they're pushing Middlesbrough back, but can they get anything out of this in the final minute? Well, we've seen Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank score with a stunning free kick. Dean Ashton is itching to have a go at this, he's scored one already. McVeigh making a nuisance of himself on the edge of that Middlesbrough defensive wall. Francis is also there trying to shield the ball away from the goalkeeper. It's Ashton. Deflected wide. Norwich have a corner kick. Dean Ashton trying to faint, he's going to put it in the far corner, tries to whip it into the near one. Off the wall and out for a corner, and the crowd are really up for this now. In by Huckabee. And they've got their equalising goal! It's Adam Drury! What a sensational finish at Tara Road! It's Adam Drury! Well, he's completely unmarked there, Adam Drury, in, in the six-yard box. Steve McLaren, I look at this afterwards. And say, how did he get a free header? Nigel Worthington out there trying to get his troops back. And so let's give nothing away. Ball floated in. Adam Jury and Adam Mark, you see him coming there, six yards out, gets the header. And that makes it 4 all. And I'd written Norwich off too soon. A belief in each other. The crowd got behind them. And now they've got a point out of this, but can they go on and nick anything else? Incredibly, it's his first goal in 74 appearances. No wonder he's smiling. An extraordinary climax to this game. Middlesbrough, 4-1 up. Now it's 4-4. Four, four. It's an incredible game, isn't it? You just have to say, Nigel Worthington and his players really have not given up on this. And Adam Jury, the skipper, gets the equaliser. What a match we've had. Parlin. Now Hasselbeck. A collective sigh of relief as Jimmy Floyd Hasselbeck shoots wide. Four four. Can you possibly believe it? And can Adam Drury possibly believe that he has got the equaliser? Norwich City's majority shareholder, Delia Smith, alongside her husband, Michael Wynne-Jones. It's all over. Adam Drury's last gasp equaliser for Norwich. Nigel Worthington has spoken time and time again this season about the commitment his team have shown, even though they're short of a bit of quality at times. But they dragged themselves up by the bootstraps here. They trailed 4-1, two goals for Kadru, two for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, including a brilliant free kick. But Dean Ashton has scored on his home debut. Leon McKenzie on as a second-half substitute got one. Norwich had been in front, don't forget, through Damian Francis. And right at the death, they got their equaliser through Adam Drury. Smiles all round at Carrow Road then. It was a brilliant conclusion to a terrific match. And it's finished Norwich City 4, Middlesbrough 4.